everyone, I'm Daria. Hi, I'm Tima. And today we are at the 2024 Global Energy Transition Conference, which is taking place in the Beijing Future Science City. The theme of this conference is Transformative Development for Green Future. And actually, academicians, scholars, entrepreneurs from all around the world came here today to discuss a very important topic of energy transition and the promotion of green energy technologies. And they also came here to showcase a very successful case studies in China and abroad with the use of high quality and innovative technologies. The cutting edge technologies in the energy sector are displayed here at the Energy Valley at the Beijing Future Science City. So let's check them out. Yeah, let's go and check it. At the opening ceremony of the conference, Arnaud Michel, a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry, delivered a keynote speech. 17 academicians of the Chinese Academies of Sciences and Engineering published keynote reports during the conference. In addition to the plenary session, there are nine themed sessions focusing on the topics of the comprehensive integration of wind, solar, hydrogen, and energy storage. The transition of the oil and gas sector with the help of new quality productive forces. The wool industry chain of carbon capture and storage, etc. In addition, a number of future CC Energy Week activities are held during the conference. What a great day today! I learned so much from all of these like, lectures and seminars from outstanding professors from all around the world. What do you think? Yeah, it was really great. I learned a lot about energy transition. And also, I didn't expect it that it's so urgent right now. True, but I wonder what is like the main significance you know, of energy transition in China and also on the global scale. So, let's check out the opinion of the experts. Can we do it right now? Yeah, of course. Let's go! Let's go! What role China has played in the global energy transition? Uh, as you hear that uh, China uh, established photovoltaic cells and wind power more than double than the rest of the world, that's really impressive. And you know, the major production country for photovoltaic cells mm -hmm. is China. And China so clearly has reduced the prices for, uh, for the energy transition. Mm -hmm. And this is, of course, very, very important. Like, is it your first time in China? No. Or, like, I, was, I was here the first time in 1986. 1986? 1986. Oh. China was really a clear lack of energy. Only people went up with the sun and went to bed with the sun. But my second trip to China was 1999, and there was complete change. Yeah, hmm? very like rapid, right? No, but and extremely how, rapid. How no? do you find it now? Like, I mean, like, oh, it's amazing if, if you see all this uh, wonderful building and uh, wonderful development all over China. It's great. China's energy 已经达成了共识推动全球经济发展，中国在全球能源转型中，既是参与者，也是推动者，嗯，也是引领者。比如说，我们中国有个新三样，这三样包括光伏、风电、新能源汽车，这三样我们在全球的发展当中，不管是从技术到产业链，